Tilting just to one side more than the other, like in real life. Oh, hey, what's up, you guys? Shardimus Prime here, doing another action figure review on the Max Factory Figma Samus Aaron figure. This is an awesome Japanese import over here. I did review the Figma Link figure a little while ago. Thank you to Jerry Nightmare for the loan. And this figure is not mine as well. This is actually my brother's birthday gift, a late birthday gift for my brother. And he loves Metroid, and he just this is like he doesn't collect or anything, but he really 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 wanted this figure if you want to get this figure you can find it at big bad toy store big 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 get your big badass toys at bigbadtoystore.com click the link in the description below so i like the packaging on it we get this window box over here it looks like the figure is wrapped in plastic on the top of the packaging it says figma product number 133 get some cool art of samus on the side of the packaging over here this looks like a picture of the figure of samus on the left side of the packaging then on the back of the packaging we get all these cool pictures of samus and all these awesome poses. I'm gonna go give this figure to my brother so he can open it and I cannot wait to see this thing. Happy birthday, brother. Oh, this is Samus. Oh my God, do you have a knife? I wanna open this. Uh, I gotta review it first, sorry. So here's the figure out of the packaging and she looks awesome. Great figure by Figma. Look at this. I like how it has this nice sheen metallic look to it and it does come with the flight stand. She does come with a bunch of other accessories too, but let's do a little 360 here before we get into the accessories and a closer look at the figure. Man, beautiful, beautiful figure. I really like it a lot. So you can use a part of the insert over here as a display piece. I guess you could just cut that out and make it a little backdrop, which I don't think would work too well because it seems to be smaller than the figure. Then we get this little Max Factory instruction booklet right here that's all written in Japanese. It says, Mushi Mushi Aisuku no Samasu. And it shows the rest of the accessories on the back over here too. As you already saw, we get this cool Figma stand. Very nice. It has articulation that moves side to side over here. It bends over here, over here, and up here, and it plugs nicely into her back. As we do with all Figma figures, it gets its own Figma Ziploc bag, and I have all the goodies put in here. The figure comes with this hand rack that can hold eight different hands, and the figure comes with five left hands. So you can see we have this hand over here, we get this holding hand for her to hold something, the thumbs up hand, and we get a fisted hand, and we get this full open repulsor blast hand. I really like this metallic look, it has this metallic bronze look over here. Nice sculpted work, nice paint applications. You have the black right here, and like I've mentioned before, Figma does have the best interchangeable hands. And on Samus's right side, she does not have a hand, but she does have her blaster, which looks amazing. God, I love this green paint. Love the metallic look. It is just gorgeous, man. Look at the sculpt. Paint is just beautiful. I love what they're doing here. So she does have two different blast effects that you can plug into her blaster over here. Yeah, you just take this guy and just plug it right in like so, and that looks awesome. I love the paint applications over here. This is great. I love how it fades out from pink to clear. That just looks awesome as hell. And then we get a second one over here that has two firing. That is even cooler. Look at that. I love how it goes back to the pink over here. That is just a beautiful look, man. Damn, that is so cool. I love what Figma is doing with this. What's also really cool is you could switch this out over here and replace it with this missile firing end over here. And then this is all set up right here so she can shoot her missiles. And even though it's technically incorrect, you can still plug the blaster effects right into here too if you want to. And the last accessory is Samus in her morph ball form. Looking awesome. Again, great paint applications. I like the shiny green going through the middle. She does have a peg right here so you can put it on the display stand so you can get a setup like this over here which I think is very very cool you can rotate it around on this thing this just looks great I'm really glad it came with it I really like the way it rolls it seems to stay on one side pretty well I like that I've mentioned how much I really like the paint on the figure a couple times already but man I can't say it enough it's just gorgeous Beautiful, beautiful figure. The sculpting is dead on too. I really like it. I like how it has this clear plastic going over the visor. You can see looking at it from the side over there. It has that metallic green underneath. I like the metallic silver that we have going on the side of her helmet over here. That looks great too. We have this gun metal right under here. The red and the green just looks great. The sculpt of the figure is awesome. Here's a look at the top of the helmet and we get the back over here. Very, very nice. 
great detail. There are little boosters right over here. Again, nice silver paint applications. God, I love this metallic effect in the plastic. It looks great. This is awesome right down here. We have the peg hole for her clear display stand, her little butt. Of course, she has a huge shoulder pads. I really like how it maintains the figure form of a female, you know, while looking very robotic at the same time. And to me, what's exceptional about this figure compared to most other Figma figures are the joints. I really like how they have this rubber material right here in these hip sections. So it really hides the joints very, very well. It has this great durable and pliable material right over here. So you can bend it around a lot. Cool articulation, but the joints are not exposed except for this right here. And this figure doesn't stand out as bad, but overall, I mean, really great looking figure. God, I love this gunmetal look right here at the bottom of her feet. That is awesome. Just a fantastic looking figure, and these are quite pointy right over here. Now, while there are some limitations to the articulation, overall, the articulation is awesome. She cannot look up. She only looks up that far, which is basically looking straight on. She can move down just a little bit. She rotates side to side right here at the head, and you get a little bit of a neck pivot too, which is cool. I like that. She has two joints at the shoulders so she has this part where she connects right here and that moves up and down and forward and back a little bit she has a little bit of a hinge right here on these massive shoulder pads and then she does have another shoulder joint right here at the very very top of the arm that allows rotation forward and it can move outward and it can rotate right here at the shoulder she has a single jointed elbow she does have wrist articulation that moves side to side and she does have a hinge that moves up and down and same thing with all the other hands over there and then on this side of course the articulation ends at the elbow she does have a diaphragm joint that moves side to side. It does crunch forward and back pretty well. And it does pivot right here at the diaphragm too. She has great hip joints. I really love how the way they did these hip joints. She can move her legs outward. They do pop off though a little bit. So as much as I like them, it kind of sucks they pop off, but it's pretty easy to put them right back on. It's not too bad. She can only move her legs out that much, but she can kick forward pretty high. So I think that is very cool. And she does have rotation at the upper thigh over here. She has this knee that does bend all the way in line. Her feet can move down, they move up that much. She does have this beautiful ankle pivot and she does have toe articulation. So same as stands just barely over six inches tall. And here she is compared to the Figma Amazing Spider-Man figure. And you can see she's just a little bit taller than Spidey. I do have my Figma link on the way from Big Bad Toy Store, so I don't have that right now, but I think that figure was about this tall, I wanna say, as Link should be. Can't wait to have that one and Kid Icarus so I can get some Smash Brothers stuff set up. And here's same as compared to another import figure, the SH Figure Arts Red Ranger. And here she is compared to Hasbro's big time letdown Spider-Man figure. So I think these Figma figures are amazing overall, man. Just love the paint applications, the sculpting, the articulation. I mean, what else can you ask for? Yeah, they're a little bit more expensive. They cost around $50 a piece, but man, you get what you pay for with these things. A lot of pictures of this figure, so please check out my photo gallery at toynewseye.com. Hit the like button if you like the video. Please leave a comment and subscribe. I'll catch you guys later. Peace. shot because it like look stand still I can't see through the strap over yeah yeah there. I know. <laughs>